Okay, so let's get right into it. Um, big news breaking today. Yeah. President-elect Trump has just announced his nominee to lead the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Big one. And it's a name that I think is going to surprise a lot of our listeners. I think so. It is Dr. Oz. <sighs> wow. As in the oh. Dr. Oz from TV. Yeah, the one and only. So... Yeah, very interesting choice. It definitely raises some eyebrows. You know, when you think about it... Just, it does. What CMS does. Yeah. This is an agency that really shapes health care for millions of Americans. Absolutely. I mean, we're talking Medicare, Medicaid, and even parts of the Affordable Care Act. Absolutely. So, hey, before we continue, remember to subscribe to stay informed. For sure. Now, you know, a lot of folks might just see Dr. Oz as, you know, that celebrity doctor. Right. But he's a heart surgeon. He actually has a history of advocating for certain, you know, healthcare approaches. Yeah. Um, some have even called him controversial. Yeah, exactly. And that's where things get really interesting because Dr. Oz has publicly supported the Affordable Care Act in the past, mm. which seems to be a little bit at odds with, you know, President elect Trump's promises to repeal and replace Obamacare. Yeah, you can't help but see that and think, like, how is this going to play out? Right. Like, how is this going to work? Yeah. And then there's also the issue of Dr. Oz's, um, you know, history of advocating for alternative medicine. Right. Which hasn't always been, you know, super popular with more traditional medical groups. Uh, yeah, for sure. And, you know, we can't forget about the 2014 congressional hearing. Oh, yeah. Where senators really grilled him about, you know, promoting certain weight loss products on his show. Yeah. It just makes you think, you know. How is his approach to healthcare going to translate into actual policies at CMS? For sure. For sure. So before we go any further, let's just make sure we're all on the same page about what CMS actually yeah. does. Okay. Because it's not just about, you know, handing out Medicare cards. Right. They have a huge impact on how healthcare is delivered and paid for in this country. Oh, absolutely. They set quality standards for hospitals. Right. Figure out how much doctors and hospitals get reimbursed for Medicare and Medicaid services, Yo. which, by the way, often sets the standard for what private insurance companies pay as well. Yeah, it kind of trickles down. Yeah. And and then there's also their role in, you know, regulating those ACA exchanges. Right. Where people can buy health insurance if they don't get it through their jobs. Yeah. Plus, with all the new powers from the Inflation Reduction Act, CMS can now negotiate drug prices with pharmaceutical companies. And that's a big one. Huge. We're already seeing it in action. Medicare announced discounted prices for 10 common medications just this year. Wow. And they plan to negotiate prices for 30 more drugs over the next two years. So this has the potential to save people a lot of money on their medications. Right. But then you have to ask, like, how's Dr. Oz going to navigate the pharmaceutical industry? Yeah. You know, especially considering his history of promoting specific products. Definitely a point of tension there. And then you have to consider the bigger picture, right. President-elect Trump campaigned on cutting government spending. Right. Medicaid was a specific target. Right. So that puts Dr. Oz in a really interesting position. He's going to be responsible for a program that his own party has historically tried to shrink. Yeah, that's right. So on the one hand, you have, you know, Dr. Oz's past statements supporting wider access to health care. Right. But on the other hand, you have, you know, the possibility of these budget cuts. Right that could directly affect these programs. It's a tough spot. Yeah, it is. It begs the question, will Dr. Oz be an advocate for the patients or will he ultimately toe the party line? I mean, that's really the big question here. Yeah. And it has the potential to really significantly impact the future of healthcare in America. Absolutely. So we've only just started to scratch the surface here, yeah. but this is going to be fascinating to watch unfold. Oh, for sure. It's kind of wild when you think about the history of CMS. It's always been this battleground for different political ideas. Yeah. Each administration wants to take it in a different direction. Yeah, you're right. right. Like when the Trump administration tried to kind of like chip away at the Affordable Care Act. Yeah. Like they cut back on all that advertising for those yeah. ACA exchanges and made it harder for people to sign up. Right. And those changes actually had an impact. Fewer people ended up getting covered through the exchanges. That's true. So it makes you wonder if Dr. Oz is going to try and reverse that. Yeah. Is he going to try and strengthen the ACA or will he just keep scaling it back? Yeah. It's hard to say. Hmm. Mm. And then there's the whole thing with Medicare Advantage. Those plans that are offered by private insurance companies instead of traditional Medicare. Right. And Dr. Oz has actually spoken out in support of those plans before. He has. But here's the thing. 
The Biden administration has been saying that those Medicare Advantage insurers are getting overpaid. Mm. And they've been trying to fix that by changing some policies. And now Dr. Oz is stepping right into the middle of it all. Yeah. It's a big deal with a lot at stake. Oh, yeah. A lot of money and powerful people involved. For sure. But beyond the whole money side of it, we have to think about the quality of care that people are getting. Oh, absolutely. CMS plays a huge role in setting those quality standards for hospitals. Yeah. They do inspections and make sure hospitals are meeting those standards. Oh. Basically, they hold them accountable for providing safe and effective care. Yeah, that's so important. It is. It really makes sure that people are getting the best possible treatment when they need it most. Absolutely. Yeah. And then there's that whole mess with surprise medical bills. Oh, yeah. And CMS has been working on rules to try and protect people from getting slammed with those unexpected bills from providers that are out of network. Right. It's been a huge win for people, especially when it comes to things like emergency care. For sure. And we can't forget about just the huge amount of financial power that CMS has. Yeah. I mean, they control the money for Medicare and Medicaid. Absolutely. They decide how much doctors and hospitals get paid. Right. And that affects everything. It does. It has ripple effects throughout the entire healthcare system. Yeah. It impacts everything from hospital staffing to whether people can even get specialized care. It's a lot. It's really complicated. It is. But the main thing is that the decisions that CMS makes can have a huge impact on millions of Americans. Absolutely. Both directly and indirectly. So it's really important for people to pay attention to what's happening with CMS. It is, regardless of what their political views are or what they personally believe. Yeah. It's not about getting caught up in the politics. Right. It's about understanding how these decisions could affect whether you can even get care. Right. The quality of care you receive and ultimately your health. Exactly. And I know we've thrown a lot of information at you today. Yeah, we have. It can be tough to keep track of it all. But we really encourage you to take some time to think about what we've talked about. Yeah. Maybe do a little research on your own and think about how all of this relates to your own experience with healthcare. Right. Because it's personal. It is. And if you're feeling a little lost, don't hesitate to reach out. Yeah, we're always here to help. We'll try to make sense of it all and shed some light on the things that matter most. Okay, so as we wrap up this deep dive into Dr. Oz and CMS, mm -hmm. um, I think the big question is why should our listeners even care about this? Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. I mean, it's easy to feel like, you know, all this stuff happening in Washington right. doesn't really affect us. Yeah. But the truth is those decisions made at CMS, they really do impact millions of people. Yeah. And in a lot of ways. Yeah. Like if CMS decides to cut funding for Medicaid, right, right, right. that could mean that fewer people can get affordable health care. Exactly. Or if they loosen regulations on Medicare Advantage plans, right. seniors could end up paying more out of pocket. Yeah. It all comes back to costs. And then there's that whole thing with negotiating drug prices. Right. If Dr. Oz doesn't use that power that CMS has, mm -hmm. we could all end up paying more for our meds. Yeah. Something to think about. It is. It's a lot. But I guess at the end of the day, Dr. Oz is stepping into a role with a lot of power. Yeah. And a lot of responsibility. It's huge responsibility. And the decisions he makes are going to have real consequences. Yeah, they will. Yeah. For anyone who relies on those programs. That CMS runs. Exactly. So what we really want you to take away from this is, you know, don't just sit back and watch this happen. Right. Get involved. Yeah. Get informed. Stay engaged. Yeah. And, you know, make your voice heard. Yeah. Because this isn't just about politics. Right. It's about your health. It is. We've only just scratched the surface here. We have. But hopefully we've given you enough to, you know, get you thinking. Right. Start asking questions. Yeah. What kind of leader do you think Dr. Oz is going to be at CMS? Right. Will he fight for what patients need? Yeah. Will he be focused on saving money? Yeah. Will he just do whatever the new administration wants? Lots of questions. Yeah. Those are all really good questions. And we'd love to hear what you think. Yeah. Share your predictions. Let us know down in the comments. Yeah. We want to know. And hey, before we go, if you're enjoying these deep dives into all this, you know, complex and fascinating stuff, mm -hmm. hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future episodes. We've got some really great stuff coming up. If you're enjoying these podcasts, make sure to subscribe. Thanks once again, and we'll see you soon.